While using ClickCloud Analytics to browse my video game inventory, I noticed that one of my game titles is missing the platform. So I'm just going to select this particular record and I'm going to update the platform to the appropriate one, which is the Atari 2600, and I'm going to click Update. In a few seconds, without any code, I just updated my Azure SQL Cloud, and I'll reload my app, and we can see that the platform value is now available. All right, so let me show you how I built that example. Now, before I continue with creating a new app in Click Cloud Analytics, I do want to show you that I'm using Microsoft Azure SQL Server. I have a table loaded. There's data available to me. This is going to be the same source that we're going to pull data from and perform the write back to. So let's jump into Click Cloud Analytics, add new, select new analytics app. We'll call this one right back example hello world and we'll put it into the do more with click space and click create now keep in mind i already have the data connection set up to the microsoft server so i'm going to choose files and other sources and within the do more with click space i have a connection for azure sql database I'm going to choose the owner and there's that inventory table. So the same data you see here is the same data you see here. To make things easier, we're just going to uncheck all the fields and just choose ID, title, and platform. Click next. And now this is going to load the data into the app, just like you already know and love with Clicks products. Click close. I'm going to click edit the sheet. And this usually brings you into simplified authoring mode. Here, I'm just going to select the table component and I'm going to add my ID as well as platform and title. And now in order to perform the next steps, I'm going to switch over to advanced options and adjust my table accordingly. We'll give our table a name, call it video game inventory. And that's all we need to do at this point here for the visual object. Now I'm going to grab a button from charts. And all this button is going to do is just reload the app when we're done. Under general appearance, I'm going to turn off show titles and we're going to name this button reload. I'm going to size it. And then under actions and navigation, we're going to add an action. And the action is simply going to be reload data. And that's all we need to do for that. Now, the next part is setting up the parameters for the fields that we want to perform the write back to or the updates to. Now, for this example, I'm just going to create three of them. Technically, we don't need an input field for the ID because we're going to pass that as the selection anyway, but for reference on the screen, I'm going to show you. So we're now going to go to custom objects under click dashboard bundle, select variable input. So I'm going to drag that and we're going to adjust the properties. First one is just going to be ID. And now I'm going to copy it with control C and control V. Next one will be platform, control C, control V. And this one will be title. Now we're going to create the variables for these three input boxes. So in the lower left under variables, create a new variable. Now the convention I use is usually a lowercase v and then the field name. And for definition, we're just going to have it equal the actual field name, in this case, ID. And I'm going to repeat this again for the platform. Definition, platform. And then one more time for title. The title, definition equals title.
So now we have our three variables. So now we can assign our variable to each input box. So from the select name, we choose VID, represent that as an input box. For platform, we're gonna choose V platform, and we're gonna represent that as a dropdown. And we're gonna add some fixed values to that. So the value we want is NES. You can define a label if you want. In this case here, I'm just gonna use the same values. Next one will be Atari 2600. Third one will be Sega Master System. And then the fourth one, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna call it blank for the label and leave the value blank. That way I could perform this demo over and over. And I did not choose the variable V title. So we're gonna set that up. And now you can see everything fills in as I choose. Okay, so now we're gonna grab another button. In this case, I'm just gonna control C, control V, the reload button. Size that appropriately. And for the label, we're gonna type in update. Now for actions and navigation, we're gonna delete the reload and we're gonna add a new one called execute automation. And then we're able to choose the automation, but we didn't create the automation yet. So we're gonna hold here. And what we're gonna do is create an automation. So I like to go to our menu in the upper left and open up our app overview in a new tab. And then just click on the click logo and that brings you back to the hub. And then in the menu on the right, I'm gonna choose my automations and I'm gonna create a new automation. From the list of various templates that we have, I'm just gonna choose a blank template for now. I'm gonna give this a name and we're gonna call it Update Video Game Inventory. Click Save. So now we have our automation created. Okay, so let's go back to our app and choose the Update button. And now we can choose our automation. And there it is. Just make sure your automation is saved in the repository before selecting it from the list. So we're gonna check include selections, run mode triggered, show notifications, and we're gonna leave the duration on for about, we'll just say 10 seconds. And you'll see where that comes in in a moment. So once this button is set up appropriately, this is where the magic happens. We click copy input block, navigate to our automation, right click on our workspace and paste the blocks. And this will set up all the inputs that is needed and to be passed to this automation. So now all we need to do is connect the blocks and we can start building out our automation. And you can see if we go to apply bookmark, for the bookmark ID, we can go to inputs and choose bookmark. So now we're going to click cloud services and we're gonna search for get expression value. For app ID, we'll select inputs app and the expression here is just going to be equal to the parameter or the uh, variable name so lowercase v id and i'm going to copy this block now and paste two more times and then we're going to change the expression for the id to the platform as well as the title. Always make sure to save your automation. And now if you wanna test this to see what it looks like, you can go into your analytics mode, select your value, and you can see we're at ID one, Atari 2600, video chess. I click update. Now you could always switch back to your automation and you can see the history. And then if we go to chronological, you can see the values in the preview being passed. So at this point, if we edit the automation, this is where you can perform any of the operations or content blocks that we support to perform your write back. 
So whether it's Salesforce or HubSpot, another database, another API, you can do that directly here. So I'm gonna use the SQL Server. So I'm just gonna choose MS SQL Connection. Leave, let me see if it's in here. Microsoft SQL Server. And I'm just gonna choose update record by one field. I'm also gonna choose the same update record by one field. And then I'm also gonna do a search for, uh, I think it was called run update run title. And this is basically how we can send a message back to the user and we can type in here, your data has been updated. You may now reload your app. And now for the Microsoft SQL Server blocks, we have to make sure our connections are set up. Now I have my connections already set up for these. The table name, I'm not gonna do a lookup on this. I'm just gonna type it in, inventory. The where key is our ID field. And the where value is equal to the expression value. And you can see here's the test value one, for example. So that's what we're gonna choose, get expression value. So that's where the where key is going to be. And we're gonna do that for both of these. Now for the data, this is going to be the value that we're going to update or change. So this is going to be our key is going to be platform. And then that's going to equal to expression uh, two. And then for the next block, add data title. And that's going to be expression three. Oh, and also make sure you put in your table names. I forgot to do that. So in this case here, the table name is inventory. And then save your automation. Okay, so now back in our app, I'm just going to choose the first record. And usually for demonstration purposes, I like to flip flop the values back and forth. So I'm just going to choose blank. And then for the title for video chess, I'm just going to call this one combat. Always make sure to hit enter when you are utilizing an input box. Click update, get our message. The data has been updated. Now we click reload. And now you can see the platform is blank and the title is combat. Let's set the platform back to the Atari 2600 and change the title back to video chess and click update once again. And then click reload. And now you can see the values have changed. Okay, so that's all you need to do. It's not that difficult. Yes, there are a number of steps to remember, but hopefully with me here guiding you through that, and we'll definitely have documentation on this, um, even allowing you to see a lot more sophisticated examples. For example, creating records in Jira or uh, updating Salesforce or HubSpot, for example. Uh, but this is just enough to get you started to see what is necessary under the covers. So you're creating an analytics app, you're assigning the button to execute an app automation. You're creating that app automation with the parameters being passed. And then you're using those parameters in whatever capacity you have for the variety of blocks that we provide within Click Application Automation to perform the write back or whatever it is you wanna do in an automated workflow. Okay, so let me know what you think. Leave your comments below where this video is posted. Definitely wanna hear from you. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.